like you literally got stung by a jellyfish. just got to our Airbnb and this is the cutest little house ever. We're staying in the Miami Design District and they have this cute little outside patio here with a grill. So we're gonna grill tonight. It's really, really cute. I'll give you guys like a full tour in a little bit. We just had a really long day of travel. So honestly, we've just like got in and put all of our stuff away, but it's really cute. There's little steps here to get to the back. So I think the people who live here staying in the house over here and then we have like this little house in the back so cute i love the white and black and there's so many plants everywhere oh my god i love it it's super small but here is the little living area and then over here we have the kitchen very cute and here's the bedroom matthew's sleeping he's tired <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go. So many groceries for four days. <laughs> Matthew and I are going to a Soul Cycle workout this morning. Yeah. I'm so excited because I love Soul Cycle. It's not Matthew's favorite. No. Nope. <laughs> he's taking one for the team and trying it and doing it yeah. again with me. We have a spin studio in Buffalo that I go to periodically, but we, whenever we're in like Florida or New York or anywhere that has a Soul Cycle, I always try to make a point to go because I love it. Oh, where am I going? We're going to the South Beach location. Cheers. Making breakfast. We got some English toast muffins, eggs. We've got some chicken sausage under there. Delish. 
got the setup out here for breakfast. Whole spread doing the most. Just got ready for dinner. Give you guys a little outfit of the day. But I'm wearing this top from White Fox Boutique. It was in my last haul. I have on my Gucci bag and then these pants, I think I got them from Zara um, like last year or so. But tonight's outfit, we're going to a Mexican restaurant and then we're gonna go to the beach before and I'm so excited. I know. Vita for lunch. I love this place. We actually came here on the first day. They have really good healthy breakfasts and bowls, salads, wraps. We got so amazing. If you come to Miami, you have to try it. It's also like the cutest place ever. Matthew literally got stung by a jellyfish, so we had to go to an urgent care, and he had to get like lidocaine and some medication that he could put on it. That was crazy, but last night we went to a really good Mexican restaurant. It was called Gitano, and I obviously vlogged, so you guys have already seen it, but it was incredible. The vibe was awesome. The atmosphere was awesome. The people that worked there were so nice. The food was incredible. The drinks were incredible. We ended up going up to the rooftop bar afterwards, and that was so cool. So we had such a nice night there, but then this morning we woke up, and it was like pouring rain. I'm like, oh my God. So we ended up going to the gym. We went to this place called Crunch Fitness. It's just like a regular gym here. We did like a day pass and that really set my day off a lot better because when I woke up and saw it was raining I was like a little bit upset but the gym and working out made me feel a lot better and then we went to Pura Vida which was really nice that's kind of what's been going on I think we're gonna go to the beach today and do some like sunset pictures and just like watch the sunset on the beach because it's a little bit overcast today so it's not really like beach sunshine weather but I do really want to catch the sunset there so we're gonna go do that and then the super bowl is on tonight we might just kind of do like a little watch party at home because we have so much food that we bought from Publix when we got here and we haven't really eaten it at all we've been eating out a lot so i think we might just like kind of chill home tonight and do that and then tomorrow i'm thinking we're gonna go to the beach like all day because it's gonna be really nice out and then matthew and i have dinner plans to go to a sushi restaurant for valentine's dinner which i'm pumped about i just took a shower and i'm like in comfy clothes and 
feels so amazing but i think i'm gonna start getting ready so we can go to the beach to do some sunset photos i will say my skin is like peaking here like whenever i'm in the sun i feel like my skin is so much better like the complexion i do feel like i got some color yesterday i got a little bit tan which i'm loving Woo! hey guys we have an exciting announcement gonna be a wedding we're about to get married we're getting married <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have not vlogged and like given context at all this whole trip but I think when I get home I'm gonna do like a whole debrief but <laughs> obviously you guys saw yesterday we got engaged and we are going to the beach right now to do a shoot because Matthew well you can kind of tell the story but yeah <laughs> he hired a photographer originally for like the original proposal yeah so she then... was supposed to actually be there when we were getting engaged and during the proposal process but Unfortunately, I thought I booked her for Saturday, but I guess I ended up booking her for Sunday when I was supposed to propose to her on Friday, and then that didn't work. So Saturday was going to be the day, and then that didn't work. So anyways, we decided that it would just be better to do it on Valentine's Day, which is today. Yeah, it's Valentine's. And now we're going to just meet her, and it's super low-key, which is way better, less stress. Yeah. And we actually got to have a much better proposal moment where it was more yeah. genuine and authentic, and that's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, the actual proposal was really authentic and like real, which I really loved. Yeah. But this is perfect because we can do like basically our engagement photos now and have them for um, like save the dates and everything, which will be perfect. So I have so much to update on. I'm going to do a whole like debrief when I get home. But today we went to the Eden Rock Hotel and we actually hung out there by the pool because one of my mom's friends is staying there instead of going to the beach today. And it was really nice to switch up like the pool beach and that's a beautiful hotel. So we went there and it was so nice. We had such good lunch and the pool and the hot tub was so nice. And then obviously I didn't really know what was going on this trip or that I'd be like doing <laughs> a engagement photo shoot. So I didn't have anything to wear. So we went to the Fountain Blue and I found an outfit there, which I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing like an all white, like I have white jeans on this white top. And I think it'll look really nice. Like on the beach, I wanted like an all white outfit. Matthew's wearing like a blue nice button down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice shoot. Just wanted to give you guys an update. After this, we're going to a really good sushi restaurant um, called Azubu with my sister and her boyfriend, Mark. And we're excited. It's Valentine's Day, it's our last day here. Unforgettable days. trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we wanna start with that one. Yeah.
it's me from so much later probably like a week and a half since you're seeing the last clip but i kind of wanted to just like debrief a little bit and share some context behind some of the things with this vlog just because i was in the heat of the moment like when we got engaged and towards the end of the trip i was really just so excited and wanted to like just live in the moment so i didn't vlog that much or talk to you guys but as you guys saw obviously we got engaged on this trip and it has just been so special and we've received the most amazing and sweet messages from you guys and people on instagram and family and friends which we're so grateful for so i literally feel like i've been in sorry let me turn that off I feel like I've been on cloud nine since I got home. Also, when we got home, my parents and Matthew's parents planned us this huge surprise party with mostly my family and then some of his family. We're gonna plan a separate like engagement party, which was so sweet. We got off the plane and like at my parents' house, my whole family was there. It was so, so sweet, but I, I didn't vlog that because like I said, I was just living in the moment. We are jumping like right into wedding planning and you guys are gonna see all of the updates and hear everything from me in the next vlog. We actually went and looked at a few venues and there's just so much more content Content coming that you guys are gonna see so I'm gonna update everything in the next few vlogs so don't worry you're gonna be updated but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I feel like there's so many crazy things that happened on this trip like Matthew literally got stung by a jellyfish I almost got stung by a bee when we went to soul cycle we had like the most insane experience it rained the first night the first night that we went to the beach at night when you guys saw those clips I guess he was actually planning on proposing that night but it rained and then he tried to propose I guess on Saturday but then he got stung by a jellyfish by the time we got to the beach it was dark out so it was just like he and my sister had been planning the proposal like for three nights in a row and it actually came to fruition like on Sunday which you guys saw but it was so special so authentic like a lot of people have been asking me if I had any idea um, I didn't I feel like anytime we go away I feel like it could happen just because we've been together like seven years and I, I we talk about getting married for sure but with the way that the trip was going I was like I don't want to have like any expectations and I was so surprised on Sunday it was so so perfect and we're so excited I can't wait to get married and just update you guys and bring you along on this journey it's gonna be so fun so make sure you're subscribed for the next coming vlogs because I'm gonna do a whole wedding planning series and like a QA and and so much fun content. I'm so excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already, but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.